Hey, what's up guys? This is Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles with the video on what makes a man weird to women and how you can avoid that. One of the things that I notice when a guy is talking to a girl, he sometimes feels that he looks weird doing something or he feels weird saying something. And he starts to believe that everything that's happening is weird. Or maybe he's not feeling or thinking that, but he starts to feel or think that when he notices the woman's reaction. When you're talking to a woman, some of the things that come up is this. Uh, she does things like this and she goes, um, maybe she doesn't say um, or she just looks around and you know, she looks at you kind of like this and then all those things make a man feel that he's weird in some way. It makes him start to believe that she doesn't want to speak to him. And I've been guilty of this. I've been guilty of times thinking that the girl doesn't want to speak to me. I remember in New York City recently, I was, not recently, it was, it was actually 2015. And I was, I was talking to a girl in the bar. As I'm talking to her, she is into me, but at the same time, she's giving me the weirdest type of reactions. And it's like this two ends that she's giving me, and I don't know what's happening, and I feel like she's hiding something. So I kind of gave in to my feeling of, fuck, man, she thinks I'm, I'm, I'm weird for doing this, or she thinks I'm weird because I've been persisting through what she's been feeling, so I'm going to walk away. And I said to her, uh whatever her name was. All right, you know what, it was, it was lovely meeting you, but I'm gonna get out of here. Cause I, I already had her number. But she's like, oh, oh, okay. And I noticed that she didn't want me to leave. And when I left the bar, I went, it's so crazy how many times you're in front of a woman and she gives you something and you take it on as that is what this woman means. That's what she means. She's giving me a weird reaction, so she means that I'm weird. She's giving me weird eyes, so she means that I'm doing something weird. So you know what? I'd rather just walk away. I'd rather just not stay in the interaction. I'd rather just not go approach because she already saw me approach her, and the fact that I was walking up to her, she started looking at me and looking away and looking at me, so that means that I'm weird. Do you see how, in the same way that I dictated that she felt that I was weird. You're doing the same thing when you're around women. I started to go from that moment. What I need to do is to figure out what's going on with her. I need to be able to call out what's happening inside this woman. It's one of the TNL terms. One of the TNL things that James teaches is calling out. I have to call out and see what's going on. Or find a way to see what's going on. Now sometimes I call out, meaning like I tell the girl, uh, I know this is strange, or I say to her, uh, what's going on? Or what I'll do is something that I've learned to do when I'm talking to a girl is to kind of ease my way into it. Gracefully just ease into it. And as I've learned to gracefully ease into, I noticed that women are actually giving me all kind of reactions all the time, but it's my meaning that I attach to that, inter uh, that reaction she's giving me that's going to be the way I see this interaction, the way I see her, the way I see what I'm doing and what I'm saying. I'm here. You don't have to wait any longer. Yeah? Yes, I said I'm here. Uh, you don't have to wait any longer. <laughs> Where would you like to go? <laughs> Nowhere, to school. Oh, to school. Okay, I saw these earrings in this style and I thought to myself, she looks wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> uh, I like how modest you are. Mm -hmm. You know what modest means? No. It means like, 
you're like, oh, stop it. That's like the attitude you have. You're like, oh, stop it. Is this a bit, is this a bit different for you? I know, I can see it. I can see you, you're like, uh, so, it's fine. Um, what you can say is your name. <laughs> I'm Virag. I'm Anthony. Anthony? Uh, Anthony. Oh, okay. And I, I'll help you through this, don't worry. All right, I'll help you through this. Um, I am from Chicago. I dance. That's one of the things I do. And what about you? Uh, well, <clears throat> I'm learning in an acting school. So, I learn theater and things. You're in theater? Mm, no, not, not in theater. Just a theater school. Ah. I thought you were going to tell me that you're an actor. I, I <laughs> want to be an actor, ah. but... Are you um, learning more about being more expressive? Uh, yeah, I, I learn how to how to build the scenes, how to how to get to know a character, singing, dancing things. What you need to get yourself to get things like this. Because because you're so uh, sweet and gentle. I'm wondering, is this outside your comfort zone uh, to do this? To do theater? Yeah. No, no, no I love it. I'm just not, uh, I don't know. Uh, what it is. I'm more um, introvert? Intro, yeah. Yes. I'm oh, okay. So, you would, would you say you're introverted and shy? <laughs> uh, okay, so that's what it is. So it's, it's when you get to know somebody, you become not like this. Yeah. Yeah, so it's only in the beginning because mm, yes. it's very different. Okay, well, I am introverted and extroverted. I, I'm extroverted in a way. Uh -huh. When I'm, yeah, when I'm on the stage. So you do have, you do have, you have two sides then. In some way, yeah. Uh, why do you do theater? What? Why do you do it? Uh, all my life, I, I thought I would like to do some kind of uh, art when I get older. And uh, for a long time, I wasn't sure what it is. So I was writing. I was doing theater. You know, you know, in school, but. Um, I have to tell you this before I tell you why I dance. I have to say that you becoming uh, someone who really wants to do what they want to do is very, very special because it's very hard to do that actually, what you're doing. Because most people would just say, you know what? I love biology and I love chemistry, so I'll just become a chemist or I'll just become yeah. something like that. But you said, no, I don't want to do that my whole life because it's not going to make me happy. That's it. Um, so it would be very sad to me if I had to skip it from my life. Yeah. So I like to, I don't know, read an article or something, but, but not all of my time. All of my time. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. It's fine. I know this. I know this situation is very new, so it may <laughs> seem a little bit nervous, uh, nerve-wracking for you, like very nervous for you. No, no, you know, I just, I'm not uh, social. I'm social. I'm just not not a very sweaty person. Oh, okay. As you said before. So. That's okay. fine. That's fine. I have two sides, so I can be very, very like this, and I can also be calm like you. <laughs> yeah. I find that both sides are very, very important to a person. Yeah. And I don't know. That's why I, I choose to be an actor, because I think in the stage you have to be very introvert in a way that you are extrovert yeah. as well. So, mm. yeah. I think you are so cute to me. <laughs> like I, I know you're very like uh, introverted, but like the way you, the, the way you are introverted is so cute to me because it looks so. Uh, I don't know. I, I just like it. That's I don't know how to explain it's cute. it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I love dancing because it allows me to. have no structure at all. So I can just flow as freely as I want without having any direction. Notice that your meaning that you are currently attaching to what the woman is doing is probably just the only thing that you need to change. So one of the things that you are probably currently doing is saying to her, Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't, and you're being apologetic and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to be weird. Or, I'm sorry, I don't mean to do that. And all of this is coming from feeling weird about what's happening for her. Or you see her eyes darting around, or you see her being kind of like standoffish in some way and looking at you and you go, okay, I'm doing something wrong, I need to get out, I'm being weird. That's probably the meaning you have attached to these things. But what I would like for you to do is I would like to, in the moment that you see the girl, give you any kind of weirdness. I just want you to become observant of it. Become observant of the weirdness that she's going through. I don't care if she is darting around with her eyes. I don't care if she's giving you jerky movements. I want you to just be aware of what's happening for her because until you are able to see it with clear eyes with awareness it's going to be very hard for you to not feel like you're being weird to not feel like she's telling you that you're being weird it's going to be very difficult because over and over you've already made up in your mind that this thing is weird when she gives me this in, uh, reaction I'm being weird when she's not giving me happiness and, and joy and, 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 and loveliness that means I'm being weird on being creepy in some way. Creepiness I'll talk about in, a, in another video, which is something that many guys struggle with, but being weird is your meaning. That's what I can tell you right now. You can attach something different to that thing if you understand that you have to change your meaning to it. Right now, your meaning to her reactions our weirdness that is the meaning that you're giving yourself for that so when you're feeling weird you will not be in there you will leave you will not go do it you will do everything you can to avoid being weird and I feel you sometimes you in there and you're like fuck I don't want to feel like I'm a weirdo I want to make her comfortable great that's great that you want to make her comfortable but I need for you now to look at these different type of things so you can have the women that you want I started to give it different meanings. And when I started to give it different meanings, it changed everything for me. I'm talking to a girl and she goes, I go hi and she goes, hi. And I see her clench up and get nervous or afraid or whatever. And immediately, what I used to do was Fuck, I'm being weird. Fuck, I should never approach like that. That was the bad way to approach. Then I go, no. What's happening right now, I'm going to deal with that. 
because I don't need to attach a meaning to this. The meaning that I've done for myself is no meaning. That's what it is. It's no meaning at all, just be aware of it. And now I'm aware of it, I intuitively know what to do. But, because I'm someone who's very, very spiritual, if you wanna know something that you can do that's very, very easy, it should just go, every reaction that a girl give me, I'm going to see it as something for me to change, for me to be able to be responsive to, for me to be able to bring her back into relaxation. That's what I'm gonna do. Because for me now, when a girl gives me a, inter, uh, a, a reaction, what I do is, I just stay with it for a moment, and sometimes it's a split second, sometimes it's a little bit of time, and I feel, what is this actually? Because I'm so aware of myself and the woman, I know that I'm not doing anything weird, I'm not. Meeting a woman on the street is not weird to me, it's not. It's probably weird to her, but it's not weird to me. Did I actually come in weird? Did I actually, did, did I come up in some way that's very, very putting off? If I did, then I'll go, all right, it's just the way I came up because I came up and my personality was in this. So when I walked up to her, I did like, so. And now she's like, this is fucking weird. Then I know that it was just, she had a harsh reaction to my personality, so not, not personality, because I don't believe in personality, it's not real, by the way, uh, by the way that I was just expressing myself. I can clearly see from the place I am, and that's the way that I've chosen to deal with it, but I also went through a stage where, <clears throat> before I became more spiritually evolved, well, I just had to see it differently with giving it a different meaning. I just had to attach something different to it. That's the way that I was able to just transcend that and just go, no, I'm just gonna allow my intuition to allow me to express that, okay, this girl is just feeling this because she's feeling that. She's feeling this because I did this thing and that's making her feel that, so now I can relax her with this. Giving it a different meaning will change the way that it look. That's why I say give it a different meaning. You guys are talking to women and you're getting all these reactions and you're giving every reaction a harsh meaning. She goes, oh, and walks off. And you go, fuck, I did something bad, I'm fucking weird, I'm, 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 I'm a fucking weirdo, I am creepy or whatever it is. You go into all these things because that reaction to you means something about you. Instead of going, is that actually her or me? Did I actually come up in a way that's creepy or weird? Did you actually? Yes, I want you to give these things different meanings, but did you actually go up weird? Did you go up and you feel like you was a little bit hesitant and you were lingering around a girl for a little bit and then you said hello, of course she's gonna feel like this is weird. Let's say that you, uh, it's actually creepy to be honest with you, uh, which I'll talk about in another video. Let's say that you wanted to go in uh, to the girl and let's say you went up and you, you, you got too close and she's like, fuck, this is too much. And she just gets, freaks out and goes. Of course, you came up in a weird way. But I want you to understand that the weird ways that the woman may attach to what you're doing is not even weird. It's just that you either have overdone something or you're underdoing something. If something simply is as, is as it is, it won't be weird. So to bring you back to clarity, attach a different meaning to it in a positive way, meaning like, this is something for me to change. Okay, she's giving me right now this right now. How can I acknowledge this? How can I be more responsive to what she's giving me right now? What can I say right now to relax her? This is in a positive direction, meaning like a different meaning. You're, so you're saying, okay, when a girl gives me this type of look, that means that she's just a little bit confused. That means right now that she feels a little bit weird about this. It means all these things, great. That's the first thing. But also, to give you even deeper understanding into weirdness and why it actually comes up for a woman, it is because a man is overdoing. 
trying to impress, trying to over compliment, trying to do things too much, trying to come in in a way and be too over overwhelming with something. That comes across as weird. Underdoing something. He's coming across and he's talking a little bit like hi, and he's being very like not there. She'll be like, this is weird. Let's say that he wants to say something, but he's just talking around it and she knows that he wants to say it. She'll be like, okay, this is weird. Because I know that he wants to say something, but he's not saying something. This is weird. He's underdoing something or he's overdoing something. But when you're simply just doing the thing that you want to do, which of course, this is not like, go out there and just do the thing you want to do and not overdo it or underdo it. You have to do these things and actually be weird so you can fine tune in a way. Depending on your level of skills, you will go out there and overdo it sometime, and you will go out there sometimes to underdo it. And then you get to a point where you know what's too much and what's too little, and you just hit this beautiful line of just being able to overdo something, but you know that you're doing it on purpose. Underdo something because you know that you're doing it on purpose. So now you know the rules, now you can break them. That's just, of course, why women really, really feel it because you're overdoing or underdoing something. When you are in front of a girl, you're like, hi, and she's like, oh, yeah, this, this is weird. You may not be overdoing anything, but the fact that you can see that, okay, this woman is doing this, you've already attached a different meaning to that. Or you've learned to not see any meaning and go with your intuition. So now you can just give her a reply that's based on responsiveness. But until you're able to just see it from a different place, you're not going to be able to. You're just going to just react to it in the same way she is. Weirdness, in a way, is good for you. <clears throat> it's good. You need to feel like you're weird. <clears throat> you need to go beyond what weird is. So you can then play around with what weird is. Because weirdness is actually really, really enjoyable, to be honest with you. To overdo some or underdo some is really enjoyable. Especially if it's from a clear place, it's enjoyable. But until you can learn that, okay, this is not good, this is, this, is, this is not enough, this is enough, then you can do whatever you want. And that's where your personality, uh, I keep saying that fucking word. That's where, I keep saying that so you guys understand, but that's where you start to express yourself. And as you start to express yourself, Maybe you do go up to her and you're like, hi, and you underdo it on purpose. Or maybe you do walk up to her and then you go, okay, now, you are so beautiful that I want to say hello, and you can come back to normal. But you can overdo it or underdo it because you're doing it from a clearer place. That's the difference. I'm loving that I can grace you guys with my presence once more from Budapest, Tony Solo, saying to you, get my free Meet to Bedroom series. This is where I talk about all these amazing things, some of them, and I talk about the approach to bedroom, and it's free for you. I can't believe that more guys are not taking this advantage because I packaged it in a way where all these videos that I put out they're scattered. But I package something where I am in front of the camera and I'm telling you from approach to bedroom, even about text, how to go through that thread. And if you want it, where after the video is done, you can click the button on the end screen or you can go into the description box and click the link. Please get this because it will not be out forever. I'm only putting it out for a certain amount of time because I want you guys to learn from it and be able to go from approach to bedroom, but I will change that to something else soon. So please, while you got the chance, go do it. I'll see ya. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new, and it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues.
I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.